Welcome to Mrs. Munson's Storytime. Today I'm reading the story, Come On Rain, by Karen Hess, pictures by John J. Muth. This is the front cover of our story. If you look at the illustrations, can you predict what the story is about? This is the title page. A title page contains the title of our story, the authors, illustrators, and publishers. Let's begin our story. Come on rain, I say, squinting into the endless heat. Mama lifts a listless vine and sighs. Three weeks and not a drop, she says, sagging over her parched plants. The sound of a heavy truck rumbles past. Uneasy, Mama looks over to me. Is that thunder, Tessie? She asks. Mama hates thunder. I climb up the steps for a better look. It's just a truck, Mama, I say. I am sizzling like a hot potato. I ask Mama, may I put on my bathing suit? Absolutely not, Mama says, frowning under her straw hat. You'll burn all day out in the sun. Up and down the block, cats pant. Heat wavers off tar patches in the broiling alleyway. Miss Grace and Miss Vera bend, tending beds of drooping lupines. Not a sign of my friends Liz or Rosemary. Not a peep from my pal Jackie Joyce. I stare out over rooftops, past chimneys, into the way off distance. And that's when I see it coming. Clouds rolling in, gray clouds bunched and bulging under a purple sky. A creeper of hope circles round my bones. Come on, rain, I whisper. Quietly, while Mama weeds, I cross the crackling dry path past Ms. Glick's window, glancing inside as I hurry by. Ms. Glick's needle sticks on her phonograph, playing the same notes over and over in the dim, stuffy cave of her room. The smell of hot tar and garbage bullies the air as I climb the steps to Jackie Joyce's porch. Jackie Joyce, I breathe, pressing my nose against her screen. Jackie Joyce comes to the door. Her long legs like two brown string beans sprout from her shorts. It's going to rain, I whisper. Put on your suit and come straight over. Slick with sweat, I run back home and slip up the steps past Mama. She is nearly senseless in the sizzling heat, kneeling over the hot rump of a melon. In the kitchen, I pour iced tea to the top of a tall glass. I aim a spoonful of sugar into my mouth, then a second into the drink. Got you some tea, Mama, I say, pulling her inside the house. Mama sinks onto a kitchen chair and sweeps off her hat. Sweat trickles down her neck and wets the front of her dress and under her arms. Mama presses the ice-chilled glass against her skin. Aren't you something, Tessie, she says. I nod smartly. Rain's coming, Mama, I say. Mama turns to the window and sniffs. It's about time, she murmurs. Jackie Joyce, in her bathing suit, knocks at the door and I let her in. Jackie Joyce has her suit on, Mama, I say. May I wear mine too? I hold my breath, waiting. A breeze blows the thin curtains into the kitchen, then sucks them back against the screen again. Is there thunder? Mama asks. No thunder, I say. Is there lightning? Mama asks. No lightning, Jackie Joyce says. You stay where I can find you, Mama says. We will, I say. Go on then, Mama says, lifting the glass to her lips to take a sip. Come on, rain, I cheer, peeling out of my clothes and into my suit while Jackie Joyce runs to get Liz and Rosemary. We meet in the alleyway. All the insects have gone still. Trees sway under a swollen sky. The wind grows bolder and bolder. And just like that, rain comes. 
The first drops plop down big, making dust dance all around us. Then a deeper gray descends and the air cools and the clouds burst. And suddenly rain is everywhere. Come on rain, we shout. It streams through our hair and down our backs. It freckles our feet, glazes our toes. We turn in circles, glistening in our rain skin. Our mouths wide, we gulp down rain. Jackie, Joyce chases Rosemary, who chases Liz, who chases me. Wet, slicking our arms and legs, we splash up the block, squealing and whooping in the steaming rain. We make such a racket. Ms. Glick rushes out on her porch. Ms. Grace and Ms. Vera come next, and then comes Mama. They run from their kitchens and skip to a stop. Leaning over their rails, they turn to each other. A smile spreads from porch to porch, and with a wordless nod. First one, then all. Fling off their shoes, skim off their hose, tossing streamers of stockings over their shoulders. Our bare-legged mamas dance down the steps and join us in the fresh, clean rain, while the music from Ms. Glick's phonograph shimmies and sparkles and streaks like night lightning. Jackie, Joyce, Liz, Rosemary, and I, we grab the hands of our mamas. We twirl and sway them, tromping through puddles, romping and reeling in the moisty green air. We swing our wet and wild-haired mamas till we're all laughing under trinkets of silver rain. I hug Mama hard and she hugs me back. The rain has made us new. As the clouds move off, I trace the drips on Mama's face. Everywhere, everyone, everything is misty limbs springing back to life. We sure did get a soaking, Mama, I said. And we head home, purely soothed, fresh as dew, turning toward the first sweet rays of the sun. The end. I hope you like the story as much as I do. It makes me want to go out and dance in the rain myself. How about you? See you next time.